everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing another reveal of things that are still growing here in June in my winter sown jugs. What are they? You'll have to find out right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So we have a lot of plants that are ready to be transplanted here the first day of June. But we also have quite a few jugs that are just starting to sprout and to grow because nature is telling them that, hey, it's time to wake up. So remember with winter sowing, uh, we don't force the plants to germinate ahead of schedule, so to speak. Um, unlike when you grow them in a greenhouse or when you start your seeds indoors, we put them in jugs outside in the weather and then nature tells them when it's the right time to start growing. So we're gonna go out to the garden and see what we're going to uncover today. Okay, so here's the next batch of jugs that are ready to open. And I have some that I have already opened uh, because they needed to be opened a couple days ago, but the weather was not right for making a video on it. So I just went ahead and opened them. So over here we have uh, cilantro, and then over here is galardia. So again, this is cilantro, and this is galardia. And then we also have savory. Um, I believe I um, opened this up on the last video, but I had closed it because we had some cold spells, and uh, it took quite a hit, but it's doing very good. And in the back we have straw flowers. Again, I opened them uh, last video, I believe. And they're still waiting to be planted. So I'll show you what we have going on here. This one is uh, Apple Blossom Snapdragon. It's a beautiful flower. Alright, that jug's done for the season. That's alright. And we got a weed, of course. Alright. So there's the Apple Blossom Snapdragon. That ah, I missed. This one's a White Snapdragon. I have four different varieties of Snapdragons I'm growing this year because they're all different colors. Different birds and pollinators like the different colors. As well as me. So this one's the white snowflake, uh, snapdragon. I'm gonna turn this this way. Then we have a broom corn. This is a grass. Uh, in case you did not know, corn is actually in the grass family. And this is broom corn. This grows like a grass, and this is what you actually make corn brooms out of. Um, so I got this in a seed swap, and I'm excited to see how it uh, looks as it grows. But right now we're going to open the jug. So that's what broom corn looks like right now. This is rainbow broom corn. So eventually the green will start turning into different colors like red and a bluish purple and some really neat colors as it grows. I'm gonna set these back here out of the way. There we go. This one's another snapdragon. This is orange sherbet, I believe is the name of it. Oh, and the jug completely busted on this one. That's okay. I get about two to three seasons with these jugs before I have to throw them away. So 
So that's two to three years that they stay out of a landfill. All right. All right. You see that beautiful thing? It is ready to go into the ground, but I will plant that later on this evening. And then this is lamb's ear. Now lamb's ear, generally you could find it in the wild in most places. It is a uh, beautiful uh, velvety texture foliage and it has some good medicinal properties. So um, I'm growing it in my garden. So there's the lamb's ear. You have to be careful with lamb's ear. It can get away from you if you don't tend to it. But, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to pull out of the ground. This is my first sunflower I'm going to open for you this season. This is the Hopi Blue. I got this from Baker Creek. There is the Hopi Blue Sunflower. And then this is Red Tatsoi. It's not very big right now, but it's big enough to open because this is a cold weather plant. So I don't want it getting too hot in here. So I'm gonna open it so it can stay a little bit cooler, but it's not significantly large. So there's the red tot soy. It's really beautiful. So again, there's all the plants that I have that are ready to get planted now. I still have all these jugs that are just starting to grow. They're not quite ready to open. And I have a few more to do um, because they grow this time of year. And they'll uh, germinate and grow in those jugs and be ready to transplant in as little as two weeks um, so it really helps generally I plant beans and regular corn and if I was growing squash I would plant them and the reason I plant them in the jugs and not in the ground is because the soil in the jugs is warmer and also in the jugs uh, varmints critters like uh, chipmunks and raccoons and Anything that would dig up those types of seeds or those seedlings, they can't get to them in the jugs. So when I put my seeds in the jugs to germinate, even though they could grow perfectly fine in the ground, um, this growing them like this, this late in the season, helps them get going so they're big enough when you plant them that those critters should leave them alone. So I will do another reveal when these jugs here are a little bit bigger. Um, I have some wonderful things in here. I have some more sunflowers. I also have some tomatoes that are just starting to grow. Uh, some cukes. Uh, I have some moringa, some roselle. Um, so yeah, I will show you those in another video so you can see how this works. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this reveal video. As stated, I do have more coming up. If this was encouraging or gave you some insight, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with some other people who might not know about the winter sowing seed starting method. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you as a part of my journey. So click the subscribe button down below so you can stay updated on when I post new gardening videos, tutorials, health tips, and even chicken stuff. <laughs> That's all right here on the journey. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.